Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with the Space Base and Rocket Launch Pad by Lego City. This is set number 60434, contains 1,422 bricks, retails for $134.99, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And yeah, so this is what we did in the last installment. We did all this, and we started working on the base thing with the sliding door and stuff. And honestly, I was pleased with the build so far. And if you recall, well, things were getting a bit shaky, but still 10 out of 10. And I'm trying to find the right manual. We won't be seeing these and probably until the next installment. But today we're going to try to finish up this manual here. So I think the rest of it just does all that. And, you know, just to recall... This does open up, and it's completely self-contained as we saw in the first installment. And I'm pretty pleased with the quality of this set. So we're going to continue on here. i got to find all the bags. I didn't prepare myself. So, bag five. And this has got that kind of like a darker orange, or maybe just regular orange. I'm not sure. And let's see, we have some stickers as well. And we did about that much right there. Still got three more left. And we haven't really been messing around with that too much. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, now let's begin with bag five. And in this installment here, I'm just going to do bags five, six, and seven. And before you ask, yes, it is a bedside build. Those are always fun to do. Do Lego before, whoa, do Lego before you go to bed. <laughs> All right, comfy here. And I'm going to have to go through a bunch of stuff. Usually by the first step, you got to open up all the bags anyways. So I may as well just do it now and toss the... Empty packaging on the floor. Let's see what's in there. Probably a cape. Oh, yuck. We're going to have to tie strings on stuff. Ew. Well, that's better than stickers, but still. Okay. Well, just like with all these, we got to start doing the minifigure first. Yeah, let me see if I can get some space over here. There's a lot of stuff with this. We still haven't used this little ramp yet, so I don't think we're using that. I'll keep the brick separator there. All right. So, I'm pretty pleased with this set so far. It's been keeping my interest. I like, wanted to work on it earlier today, but I had some chores I had to get done first. And then I kind of forgot all about it and... I thought, well, I need a chance to unwind, so, yeah. Now i got to find a torso. We found all the other parts, though. And while we're here, let's find the little visor. Oh, there it is. Then we start putting things together. And I've been working on wiring up Ethernet for smart TVs today. Seems like everybody's got a smart television, and... Oh, you have all this stuff, but you don't have a smart TV. Well, my computer is my smart TV. It does more than a smart TV does. And I need to make it to add some new features. I'll just write up a program that lets me do it. Okay. She probably got something on the back. Yep. But... For the most part, I've been kind of just been busy doing things. Is she going to have a weapon? Actually, no, she doesn't, so there she is. Pretty cool. Set her over there so she can join her friends. And looks like we're building the thing that goes on top of that. So let's get going there. Yeah. 
Yeah, the holidays are upon us. I think today is the, I don't know, the 9th or the 10th. Let's see here. This doesn't tell me. I don't have another smart device. It's probably the 10th of December 2023. These wall elements are pretty cool. The better when they're transparent. Remember that uh had a suspended animation chamber that I made uh, something that I did for one of my Halloween builds a few years back and I thought why not and I was it was part of the uh, backcountry camping theme and nobody was even interested in seeing part two so I never bothered working on it I may end up making that a YouTube exclusive so it'd just be taken tour of a mock, but it has a storyline. That's basically essentially what it is. Yeah. I was playing on Google Maps today, just trying to find out places to go. You know, just just like dropping the pin somewhere and say, okay, where do we need to go? <laughs> so I'm kind of just tinkering with that and thinking, well, some place that's cold, that's fun, and it doesn't involve a whole lot of work unless it's work hiking somewhere. And I looked and looked and looked, and yeah, there's a couple of places, but I can't find anybody who wants to go. So I was thinking, I may end up just making it just a, if I do, making it just a little a live like a live feed type thing or record it or something. I don't know how I want to do it yet. Let's see if we can. Do it live on YouTube or just record if I can't get a signal then just do it live and record it. And just kind of have fun. Those are hard to get lined up, so you're going to need this thing here to line it all up here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm making sure these are all pointed outwards to make them look a little better, and that's how the book shows them, too. So it looks like bag five just does this cylindrical thing here. I was just kind of looking at places. I mean, just places to go hiking, to go in the backcountry. The places that I don't want to be bothered. And then I hear, well, you don't want to get injured and all that stuff. I wouldn't do it. Well, I'm not sitting around here doing Lego stuff all weekend or all month or hey, nobody has uh, done anything bad at work. I haven't had any reports. Well, I had somebody ask me to sign something real quick that needed my urgent attention. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. So when somebody does that, I count that as a day of work and then of course I, now I have an extra bonus day. Okay, they want these crisscrossed. Alrighty, I'm trying to find one more of those. Where did it go? I thought I saw. There it is. there's going to be a shaft or something that goes in there. I don't know. I mean, there's a shaft going. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Let me flip it around so you can see the... Right there in the middle, it just goes all the way through. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to still connect something up to that. 
So I bet this will rotate that thing around. Um, it goes on next, too, so we'll find out right now. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Well, it snaps onto the top. I'm going to open this up and kind of just make sure. I thought there'd be something that would rotate in there. Let me take a look. Oh. Well, does this thing rotate? Okay, I thought maybe you had to spin this or you stick something in there and it does some magical stuff. And now we got to do the big giant crane here. I'm hoping it's one... Oh, I was hoping it was one of those ones that you didn't need to... Uh, Hi, but you well, know, well, oh, I guess oh, I'll set that off to the side there. Yeah, all this construction going on right now. There's only like three rooms of the house that are not touched. That's including this one. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> A lot, there's a lot more stuff in here than usual, and it just kind of just bogs everything down. me to stick this here and stick another one on there. When I do that vehicle, I don't want to use Technic, uh, Technic stuff. I'm trying to break away. It works good for chassis, but yeah. Ooh. So, if you're not a fan of Technic, well, sorry. You're just going to have to wing through this one here a little bit. Yeah, so I'm stringing up a bunch of Cat 6... E wire around the house. Just doing that. I hadn't even bought the wall plates for the TVs or nothing. I just got the wire, slowly stringing wire around the place. That requires me to go into the attic. Isn't that fun? You've ever been crawling around in one of those? It's so dirty and filthy and nasty because of all that insulation and stuff. Thankfully, I don't have the asbestos in this place anymore, but still, it's filthy and nasty, and nobody wants to do it. Yeah, those go in there, too. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, somebody uh, wanted to ask me something real quick, and I'm like, oh, shouldn't you be in bed? All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping this string thing, we don't really have to tie, but I have a feeling we are going to. Because the string's obviously going to go in there. Yeah, 
Okay, I finally got the electrical stuff installed in my car. I'm just finishing up the battery tray, making sure that's dried really hard. I'm going to assemble that back together and hopefully get a haircut. <laughs> there goes that light. It was behaving earlier, but not anymore. But I'm going to try to do is get that done before Christmas time. I doubt it, but I'm going to try to get it. Wow. Just to get it done. It's like a chore going down there. Thing. Telling the guy what you want. Keeping your fingers crossed that you say the right things. Or show a picture and it's like, okay, I want this. And hopefully they can do it. And time I, sometimes I'll walk out of those places and I'm kind of like not so happy. It's like, what did I do? But I don't go to a chain shop. I've been to those when I was a lot younger, and you know, they always would mess your stuff up, and it's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. One time I said it to one of the barbers there, and he, I said, oh, those chain shops are like more like chop shops. He kind of got mad at me, and I thought, I wasn't referring to this place. This is just a regular barber shop, and maybe they thought it was a chain. And, yeah, like I go in and get my business done, and I'm out of there. guys there you know it's like oh you're lucky you get to work from home and stuff I'm like man yeah, that's not really lucky <laughs> not when you have to not when you have to do things it's like a regular job just you know, just deadlines discipline and all that stuff all right okay so this must be the mechanic stuff for Okay, well, we're going to get lucky here. Let me look here. Okay, no, we're not lucky. We're going to actually going to have to tie a knot. They got four steps on how to do the string in here. And... Well, this has got a knot in here already. All right, let's make sure that this is already. What do they give me about? About two or so meters? I don't know. And what they're saying is to find the wheel, and then. Run that through. That's step two. Step three is to knot it up. I'm not going to do some fancy knots. It's not that nasty black string that Lego would do. This one's a little more robust. And once I double knot this, I'll be ready to go. Yeah, these people on their smart TVs. Oh, don't you have one? No, I got a computer. Well, that's not a smart TV. I said, I don't know. I can play video games on it and do that. Oh, I could do that with my machine, too. I'm thinking, oh, okay. Can you live stream on yours? No, I'm like, yeah. Okay, after you get the knot, and then the last knot here says to roll it. I don't know which way it wants me to roll it, so I'm just going to start rolling this down in here. And I don't think it's going to be that neat that the book shows. Here, I thought, oh, I'm going to have this thing done. I didn't even notice there was a string in here. 
When I saw that, I thought, well, something's going to get a cape. Or a rubber band or something. And when, I, when we open it up and there's a string, I'm like, oh. Well, there goes like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You know, somebody who actually has one of these things set up to where they can they put it on a Technic motor and they can actually get it perfect. Okay, after that, we, uh, okay, we got to stick it in here now with the string on the top part. So I'm going to put this part right here, see how I have it layered? That's what the book's asking me to do, so I'm going to just set that in there like that and have that fall out, which it's not supposed to do, and just set that in there. There we go. Yeah, in addition to that, I'm doing an upgrade on my over-the-air antenna. Um, I have one that's uh, mounted into the attic. I used to have one on the roof, and it just started falling apart. The, Sometimes you get a pigeon or two that would sit on it and would just start, it would go near, start falling over. So one day it would just, uh, I wasn't getting any reception at all. So it was something that I have to uh, deal with later, which I did. Let me line those up there. All right. And now. Wow, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, these are inverted. Okay. Yeah, I found, I was doing some more editing on videos, and I found one that I was cussing up a storm in. I didn't say the F word, but I said the S word about two or three times. I thought, well... That one's going to get a marked as having language. Now, I may not hit all the videos, so. Okay. show it going off the back here so I'm keeping it the way that they have it wish there was a way we can guide it. I wish you could put it to that little technic hole I don't know if that's what it calls for and it goes like that okay. and at least the tile is going to sandwich that in we don't have a lot of parts but don't want to forget the golden studs on the top. All right. And we're going to flip it over. Stick some of these inverted bricks with bow in there. Another one by six brick with bow. Okay, then we're going to install it on top of that. Well, it might be easier if I raise it up. Oh, I can. I'm already bottomed out. Well, that's not going to do me any good. All right. And then it's telling me to put the string through. Well, I I don't know why it went in there like that. Okay. The string is right here. It says go around this stud here. Back around this thing here. Feed it through this crack right here. Let me just... And I'll show you a top view here in a second. And then just... We'll just slowly work it out there. 
Whoa, this thing's kind of goofy. I don't know about this. I mean, it's like it's sideways. Huh. Let's rotate it around and see what it looks like on, my, on that in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it just kind of... I don't know about that. So, when you get into that right there, I'll show you here. I'll do, I'll, I'll do a better demonstration with the blonde hair on that. Uh, so you, you coil it around like this. Go through this hole here, go back through here, and string it through here. All right. And just to kind of show you that, what it looks like. And we'll be putting another sticker, and it's on this beautiful, nice, flame yellowish orange tile. Well, we're going to have to anyways. And... That's sticker number six, which is that one right there. And yeah, that goes there anyways. Does it matter which way I'm going to face the arrows the same way as the illustration in the book? Okay. Well, I didn't get that on there straight. And I kind of wish this stuff was printed. I'm going to have to ding it down to a 9.8 now. So, sadly, it took all the way to bag 5 for me to ding it. And I have to tie another knot here. Well, it was, we had to tie something, but okay. And there's a hook. I forgot to put the hook in. So we just tie the hook here. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this. They have Lego has one that has a stud at the end, which I do like actually. Okay, but I don't know why they didn't use that. That's like yes, I like those when they brought them out. It's like it's about time, Lego. Some of us don't like tying this stuff. If you use a string and you get it on your, if you tie it too tight, um, what would happen is you would actually have to cut it with some very sharp scissors just to cut the knot and then save the string for whatever you have. See, like my knot is starting to come undone here. Sometimes I'll take Elmer's wood glue and I'll just put just a drop on the knot to uh, tighten it down. So I think probably about a good five or so minutes was just messing with the string. And honestly, I'd rather mess with stickers than the string. As you can see, the string comes off. And this is not really user-friendly in terms of that until you get it there and that's it I mean literally that's it that's what we have remaining here is just two technic pieces and yeah no, the string wasn't too fun but there it is I don't know if you think this would be on the top but that's how they wanted it yeah okay well now we're gonna move to bag six So really the only thing I dinged off really was something falling apart in this earlier and then the, the string, a little bit of that, and that sticker. And, you know, honestly there's never going to be, I've only had a very few Lego sets that were ever had a perfect score. How do they get perfect scores? There's little, little to no parts in them. Okay.
Okay, we're ready. Got everything recording. Oh, we got one of these computer monitors that's printed. Cool. Alright. I don't know if I have one of these in white. Well, we get some more of these sand blue seats. Cool. Alright, let's start building here. Oh, it goes on the ends. Yeah, it should get me the digital manual, but they don't even have it. Instead of just having this, I would just have the iPad on a lecture and just kind of scroll through it. As long as it's not the goofy 3D app, we're fine. And there goes the old heater again. It's cold. Because I got a lot of holes in the ceiling right now in my house, so I have half the house closed off. In fact, the workshop is probably the only one that's the warmest. That and back here. I can always use these for making roofs. So. And I always have a question, how do you obtain so many parts of roofs? If you've been collecting sets for so long, you will get a bunch of those. You know, I just realized, did we skip a, did we skip a minifigure in here? Oh, we did. I want to do the big stuff, okay? We're going to have to do the boring stuff real quick. All right. Uh, she, is this a she? Oh, it's a he with, he tell you he's an older gentleman. Okay, we're just going to set your part, body, your body parts over there. We'll worry about you later. I want to build big stuff, not sit and worry about where everything's at with that. torso. We found the shoulder pads. You know, I can just start putting him together now. Let's make sure here. Does he have anything he's got to put on his back? Well, we won't know because it requires two hands to flip the book. Yeah. Okay, let me put the head. We, we're going to install the head. Install it. Yeah, um, I noticed the views are still dropping on the main channel. I don't know what Google's doing, but I think I'm going to be. New I'm going to have to use. Uh, I even contact them and said, "I may be moving to TikTok or something." You guys' algorithm's killing the channel. <laughs> And they're like, oh no, our systems are working correctly. And I'm thinking, well, that's what's driving business away, I guess. I don't know what the, what their deal is. Oh, it's working as it should. Oh, you're driving traffic away from YouTube. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, you know, hey, if somebody wants to run their business like that, that's fine. Dra dragging, driving traffic away is one thing. I, I don't want to use TikTok. I really don't. I'm going to try doing some tutorials on there and see. The only thing is, building stuff like that's flat is going to be a problem. And two, you got to use your smartphone, which means I'd have to buy a whole new set of equipment because I'm only, you know, I'm only got camcorders and stuff. I'm sure you could probably do it with just a camcorder video. But I don't know. And trust me, I think the the Trade Commission has got other things to worry about. Although they keep saying we're kind of like fish in a barrel, we're, we're easy to get. If you've ever been on the 
Federal Trade Commission's website. They say they're there to protect the um, the consumer. But, you know, it's uh, anything but that. Especially when somebody goes on there. We just sued the pants off of these businesses for this amount of money. I don't know. Uh-oh, I'm getting into that rant mode again. Okay, I found the visor for the minifigure. For the helmet. It's a black one, too. Like that. And before we get too far into it, he's got a gold wand. A wand in space. Maybe this is Harry Potter or Harry Potter when he's older. We don't know. So, yeah. Oh, here you can join your buddies. You can sit by the brick separator, too. Well, we're gonna have to put a sticker on a tile. That. That is sticker number seven. Which is that one right there. Matter of fact, there's two stickers back to back and I think we'll be done with the sticker sheets. Yeah. I wrote something on the land the other day about Somebody had made a post about Thicker Brick was closing for the year. I was like, oh, I'm crying in tears, and you know, I use that to buy my parts. And, oh, don't cry. Oh, it'll be back. Don't worry. It happens like this every year. And I'm just thinking, yeah, but if I want to buy a part or something, I have to wait two months. You know, some people took it serious. And you're going to need sticker five for the last one. We're done with the sticker sheet. But a lot of people are like, oh, I'm happy that it, like, oh, I'm happy that it closed down. It'll be back next year. Thinking, guys, stop buttering up the admins. So. Okay. almost looks like a control tower for an airport. Boy, it's kind of set up. I had to go into one one time to string up some networking stuff. Um, uh, that was not fun. Um, I'm missing a slope piece here. Okay, oh, there it is. Let's say, do I have to start sorting again? Alright, we gotta put four of these around here. Good old Lego bricks. All these screens are different. They at least updated them. I don't think it really matters which way it goes. Okay, I need to make four of these. So let's set that off to the side there. Okay. Oh yeah, I put a post on my main channel. Um, how many of you buy off-brand Lego versus regular Lego? And I wasn't expecting anybody to answer. We, we were on a Discord call, and a buddy of mine, he buys the bootleg stuff. Because Lego doesn't make certain parts. And I said, I'm going to post. And he started laughing. I said, I'm going to post and see what happens, just to get a poll. And last time I checked, it was like 33% buy the off-brands as well as Lego. You know, 
Now, how many of you buy off brand or something like that? So, you know. You know, hey, if it works, it works, but I like the real deal. Plus, Lego's got good customer service, too. I'm not sure about the other building block brands. I don't know. I've never bought anything from these other companies, so I really don't even have a clue. Okay, I think we're supposed to put transparent orange on the top of this here. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of some stuff to do for the winter. But I have a feeling I'll probably have to be home just to make sure I find someone to sit in here. And then after that, we got to put tiles on these end studs here. This, this set has a lot of common parts. I'm not going to say it's anything special. Okay, that one's done. Tonight we had tri-tip, okra, french fries, biscuits, and I can't remember, and black eyed peas. Surprisingly everything got ate up, which is pretty cool. Oh, it goes in backwards. I thought it would go on like that. Wait a minute, it does. Okay, I see. It's even with this corner here. Yeah, but so far this is a very, very good build. Very good build. Let me start. We got to make four of these now. And then what I'm going to do is start grabbing parts, start setting things up here. Yeah, so I cleaned all the ground wires in my car. I saw the main one that goes to the engine block, but I'd have to crawl under there to do that. And yeah, I don't like getting under cars. So I'll have to figure something out. I don't think that one's a problem, but maybe have a mechanic just make sure it's snugged up. You don't want to sit there and say, oh, here, just take it off, polish it up, put it back on there, because a lot of them won't do that. So I did a lot of the stuff for the braking system. Cleaned it up and polished it up and stuff like that. Now it's not just some random numbers on the voltmeter because the needle would jump around. Now it's pretty solid. So I got a solid reading. I got a solid dead short now with the ground on the body. So it's, uh, I'm getting good continuity. Like, okay, that's how it's supposed to read. And all I got to do now is Put the battery tray back in and start it up and see how it performs. Stuff like that you got to take out on the field. You can't just you know, hope it works. You just got to take it out on the road and do a road test real quick and see if that fixes all the electric. When I pulled out the ground wires, one of them was pretty snug. The other one was just barely, it was like hand tightened and all the connections were just tarnished and just filthy. So now everything cleaned up and really snug. Got, a, got, got some spiked washers in there to get some really good ground. I even went so far as to just isolate an area and scrape off the paint just to see if it'll actually uh, 
help a bit here. Now we got to make four of these little things. And you know, cars don't work very well. Usually when you start getting electrical problems, usually that's when you have to start dumping them. You have a tech manual that makes it easier. Then you can just read that and go, okay, well, let me look here and let me troubleshoot. A lot of people don't troubleshoot anymore at the, at the uh, component level. That's what happens is it gets to be very expensive and stuff like that. Okay, flip it upside down and put the stud facing up. We'll use that as a blueprint. Now, back to this again. These just sit in here. I'm assuming there's going to be something in here that's going to attach to this to kind of secure that. Well, at least this manual is broken down in such a way that this is modular. Now, you're going to have to, you know, thinking about this more and more, it's not an balanced build, but it could be done. Alrighty. Alright, we got to stick this in here. It's not the dance pole that's going to go on the top there. See, this is what I've done here a few times. I have to show an alternative view, because you don't know where that goes there. Well, sometimes I'll just have it sitting like that in the first place. And then now, we're going to put that on the top. I don't know how critical it is, but we will see here. Well, that's going to have to be tightened up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is stick this down a little bit. And then just press it in there and make sure I'm kind of correct. They're showing it, here's this gold thing. I'm gonna pull this off and line it up the way that they say how to do it. And of course, that plate has to come off. Now I'm getting stuff falling off now, trying to get this on there. So this is, the score's gonna get dinged a bit more. Shove that pin all the way down in there. That's why they had a big giant Technic pin. So this pin, you're going to have to push that all the way in there. Um, so that's how it's supposed to work. Pretty cool. And that is it for bag six. All right, we're going to wrap this up with bag seven, and then most of it, I think, we're going to be building on top now. So let me see if I can raise this up here. And I'm sorry, I have to move the camera a lot. Well, I'm hoping that stuff's not scratched up. Or these. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. And we're going to need to put a bunch of these on here. So what we're going to do is... Okay, the tile's meant to guide it in. Be careful with the screens. I notice these are starting to come loose, so just... You're going to have to find a sweet spot and just start pressing things in. So that's what they look like. So we're going to inspect them as I go. And uh, see here if they're really scratched. These feel like squeaky clean. Okay, that broke. I'm down to 9.5 now. Lego, that was really kind of a, not a really good design there. 
because people are going to stick their fingers in there to squeeze it in. Okay, we're going to do this side now. All right, looks pretty good so far. Nothing dinged up. So don't, maybe just be easier to press on the outside. Sorry, my hands are in the way. And yeah, I'm checking them. Uh-oh, if I see any more scuffs, I'm gonna have to ding it down a whole point, Lego. That's kind of, uh, well, I'm gonna keep it family friendly there. You could probably fill in the language that I'm about to say. All right, I mean, those are cool pieces, but when they're scratched, already down to a 9.5, that's a strike too. And one more than that, I have to ding off a whole point. Hey, it's part of the review process, guys and gals. If they notice I'm dinging off or beat up and scratched up parts, yeah. Because I'm just, you know, if I were to buy this set and drop the $135 in it, I don't want to have it all scratched up, too. Some, I know a little kid probably wouldn't care, but for a full-grown adult... You know, these were blue. These would be great for aviation. All right. Okay, we got one more piece to put in after that. This bag doesn't have a whole lot. It's just mostly bulk items here. And okay, uh, when I see those type of deep scratches in there, that's not good. It's an 8.5 now. I mean, this set started off at a 10, and just this bag alone, it's down to an 8.5. You know, I'm dinging hard off a of scratched. And every three pieces that I see are scuffed, I will ding off even more. I mean, it ruins the flavor. But, Jay, you're going to rip it apart. Yeah, but like I said, somebody who may want to put this in the city, they don't want it all banged up. I'm gonna, I want to be able to the one that scratches them up. It's like they have these protected in this type of a bag. I don't understand Lego's logic there. Alright, All right, so now we're going to go back down here. And we're going to build some more here. I have a couple of these, but not in that type of orange. Okay. Jay, you're just being picky. You're plain old picky. <laughs> okay. I've had it happen. I'm like, okay, well, you drop that kind of money and you tell me how picky you are. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm like, yeah, well, okay. These would be good for like, a, well, if you had a bunch of those, you could make a hamburger or something or a flying saucer out of those. They'll also work with the 25 degree slopes. Use it as a frisbee. <laughs> I love this. I love this building toy. Because you can just it's basically raw pieces and you can come up with some pretty cool ideas. Create your own creations and just have fun. Will this set be parted out most likely? In fact, I got more sets I know what to do with. So I, I'm actually just running out of space because I'm actually putting them in totes until I can find a place to put them or at least take them apart and use them for something else. Okay, so this is obviously going to be the top to fit on there. There's always discussions. What do you guys do with all these review offers? I'd like to know that too. I'm using mine for for a part source when I'm done reviewing them, but what do I do with them in the meantime? They just sit in totes. I catalog the set number with all the parts with the set. 
and put it in my inventory and it'll show that it hasn't been parted out and then I have to part the set out. We had a lot of wands in here, huh? Yep, getting tired. I just want to... Okay. Oh, I mean, it's a handle. Oh, there it is. So Bag 7 looked like it had a bunch of stuff in there, but not really. that up. Or if you can't pick up parts, take some masking tape or some painter's tape. Just keep a strip by it and just pick things up. Sometimes I'll do that when I'm really getting involved in something here. So... Put those on there, huh? Okay, so we'll put the top part right here. Yeah, I went out and looked at lights. There wasn't really anybody out hanging up lights this year. And I was like, seriously. It's getting to be more depressing every year anyways with the holidays. Some families, they have a lot of fun and Mine's a little different. Well, that fits in there. Must be to receive the adult channels, huh? This is going to be a fun set to take a tour of here once we get it done. Why don't you just say four? Oh. Okay, and it goes on the top. We're going to worry about the top here later. We'll set that off to the side. And we'll build this little thing here. Yeah, I hate worse when you buy a roll of wire. And you don't use the whole thing. And nobody wants you to return the leftovers and they give you some kind of a credit for it. And what do you do with the old stuff? You know, what do you do with the old cut wire? You throw it in the trash, right? Or you take it and recycle it. And it's kind of wasteful. It's like... So I have this Ethernet wire. Probably about maybe 60 foot of it left. So <laughs> going to get me a tool and make my own cables like a plug-in devices different lengths all right so we have this thing here remaining i find out where that goes oh it goes in the middle there of that dish we weren't quite done so what i'm going to do is since you know we just did that this thing here oh it just it's on a crane Okay, first let's fix this. You put the tip in first and then you fold all those in like that. Now that looks better. Okay. Well, we fixed that one. <laughs> and we got to put it all together now. And that will finish up booklet two. Yeah, these things still kind of move around. 
And don't worry. Matter of fact, I may just back that up. And you won't see the whole flavor here. But I'm going to try my best. Yeah, today was supposed to High today was in the 60s, the lows is in the 20s. That's pretty good. This just sits right on the top. Okay, so it's seamless up there. Well, you can't see it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I have to stop and re-raise the camera up, and it's kind of a pain. And that just fits up there like that. It just sits right inside the hole. So it just locks right on in. This looks really good. It's like just looks really good and you got this this goes down here you just loop loop that in and let's see if we can raise this thing up here oh, you can see it right there huh and we just turn it boy I need I don't like the way they did this knob on this thing but there you go and I bet you think it's meant to sit on the flatbed truck right there as that's almost perfect and you know I bet that does let's take a look here and see it looks like you could almost set that on there I'm sure you probably could it'll fit like you could drop it on here like that yeah and pretty much that's what it is so you do have access to the interior all right, 9.4, that fell off, or 8.4, my bad. Well, how do you pick this thing up without that yanking off? That just comes off super easy. Oh, Lego, you should have made that a bit better because most people are going to grab this and pull this dish. So you may have to pinch it right here and pick it up like that. But for the most part, this does rotate so you can get the best reception. and. The crane does spin all the way around, or as much as my wall will let me do it. And yeah, so except for the scratched element stickers, this tying those knots in that string, which I always hate doing, this is a winner so far. Okay. And you do get a bunch of stuff with it. I mean, we still haven't used this yet. I may be inclined to get three more of these in this color. Just build myself a skate park. Or if you really wanted to. You know, honestly, these would almost make a good roof piece. Just fill down here and do something with that. Be a pretty good roof piece. So tell me what you think of the set so far. To me, it's interesting. I just wish those parts weren't scratched, and I wish they used those studded strings. But other than that, though, I'd say it's a it's a winner. This right here, though, you got to be very careful. Somebody's going to pick it up like this. Uh, no, no, don't do that. Just how would you pick that up anyways? Just scoop it up from the bottom. That'd be safer. So for the most part, though, it is what it is. It looks really good. But tell me what you think. So far, I like it.